Hey guys, uh, so tonight I am making Jamaican beef patties. It is one of my husband and I's favorite things uh, from our honeymoon trip that we enjoy. And I found a Weight Watchers version of the recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the filling because we have to let the filling cool off for a little bit before we can make the dough and fill them. Um, but I'm gonna take you along on the journey today. So let's get ready to eat. Okay, so you're gonna start out with some olive oil in our pan, just a little tiny bit because we are working with beef and I want to have a little bit of fat in there because I use low fat hamburger. Get our skillet to go in. And I'm just going to break this up as I'm putting it in. Um, I break it up pretty well before it is all said and done anyway, but I don't like putting big chunks in. Um, it just makes it easier when you're working with it. It also decompacts it a little bit so it can cook better, I think. I'm going to toss that in the garbage bowl. And I'm going to wash this off. I'll be right back. Get that going in there. And then I'm going to start getting some other ingredients ready to put in there. I'm going to grab my bamboo cutting board. And I just want to use this um, because I don't want the jalapenos and the uh, onion to seep into my other board. So I'm just going to cut the top off the jalapeno and then I'm going to half it the long way like that. The recipe calls for scotch bonnets, but I'm not that brave. I don't know about you. Um, you can use whatever kind of hot peppers that you like. Jalapeno works for me. And then I'm just removing the seeds in the membrane because that's where the heat is. I just want a little bit of heat so it'll look like this when you're done. Make sure you get those seeds in there too because the seeds will carry heat into your dish as well. So if you don't want it hot, hot. And this is um, what my garbage bowl is. It's actually a Rachel Ray one from uh, Amazon. I highly suggest investing in a garbage bowl just so you don't have to make so many trips back and forth to your garbage can. Um, it's not required, obviously, to cook, but it does make life easier for you. Next, I'm going to shell the onion. And I'm using a sweet onion for this one. It's a Vidalia sweet onion. Um, I like it better with the Vidalias. You can use whatever kind you like. And we're just gonna 
half it and then cut it into slices. And then we're just going to dice it up. take my bench scraper, kind of sprinkle that around in there. Mm. I'm going to give our meat a little zhuzh. Probably should have zhuzhed it a little earlier, but that's all right. cut them kind of small um, just so that they're all the way throughout your dish. You could also do this with ground chicken or ground turkey. Um, I don't eat a lot of beef but I like them best with beef when I make them. But use whatever works for you. I'm going to be pairing these with um, cauliflower, rice, and beans. It's kind of rice and beans um, with usually with peas in it is what is served with it um, if they're making it a meal instead of a snack in Jamaica. So uh, I try to keep it traditional like that. You don't have to be super finely chopped. It, you just want enough to go throughout the dish. So I just chopped them up like this. And we're just gonna slide those in. So we add some salt and pepper. get the bigger clumps of um, hamburger pushed down a little bit so they're not so big because they are going into um, some dough that is shaped, it almost looks like a fruit pie on the outside. Um, so you want to make sure that you get those broken down a little bit so that they fit nicely in there and there's no bulk to the, uh, no bumps in the process. Okay, and now we're going to add in our spices. Um, it calls for garlic powder. I don't use garlic powder because we don't use garlic, so you can add that if you'd like. Um, it says a, a beef stock cube, but we don't have cubes. I have this um, Better Than Bouillon Roasted Beef Base, so that's what I'll be using. I'm only going to use hmm, about that much worth because it is very, very condensed. And there is enough moisture from um, the peppers and the onions in here to get that flavor incorporated into the dish. And it really does deepen the flavor of it, so it's nice to have that in there. Then we are going to add in some sweet paprika and I'm just eyeballing this. Um, it calls for three-fourths of a ta uh, tablespoon, or I'm sorry, a teaspoon um, of 
paprika. A quarter of a teaspoon of allspice. A little bit of turmeric and the turmeric will also be in our dough. Some Worcestershire sauce or soy sauce, whichever you have. Take a little bit of flour and it says um, breadcrumbs or flour. I use flour. You just need a little bit just to thicken it up. So I'm going to do a half a teaspoon, but it's going to be a little bit uh, overflowing. And then you just add it in, shake it in there. Set this to the side because we'll be using this again. And you just want to make sure you mix it in and cook it through so that it gets into some of those juices and helps thicken that up a little bit. And also you want to make sure all the flour is cooked because you don't want to eat raw flour. Give that just a couple minutes and then I'm going to put it to the side and let it cool and we'll get started on our dough. Okay, so now for our dough, we need three cups um, plus two tablespoons of self rising flour, which I always have a lot of because we make the two ingredient dough a lot. And this is a one and a half cup um, container here. I'm going to put that into my aerator and aerate this flour. And I'm actually going to put the turmeric in as well. There's, you have to put two tablespoons, so I'm just going to eyeball that. Come on. 
grab the same container and grab some water. So I got my water and I also have two um, tablespoons of chilled butter. And I'm just gonna cut that up a little bit so I can drop it in. Kind of mix it up to get that butter mixed around so it's not all in one spot. And we're gonna put uh, a little bit of salt in here. So I just find my salt again. Put a little bit of salt in. Put our water in a little bit at a time. your hands. And work it through. Get that butter to start to melt into your dough. And I'm just going to keep mixing this and then once I get it to the consistency that it needs to be to put it out on uh, a piece of parchment to be able to be kneaded a little bit more. I will be back. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start loading them up. And we're going to be using one of these little presses. I got these on Amazon. You put the dough over the top of it, put your filling in the middle, don't overfill it, and then you just push it over and it'll make and crimp into your patty. So here's my first dough. Just gonna kind of press it down in there. Grab my spoon. And like I said, you don't want a whole bunch in there. Um, because otherwise it is going to uh, make it split and it does start getting warm if you don't cool your stuff down enough it will start getting warm and split um, because of the butter in the, the dough so then you're just going to take it flop it over push it down now when you open it back up you have your patty and then I just flip it out. Kind of push it down around the edges, make sure it's sealed. And then just kind of cut away so that it looks a little nicer. Around the edge. And then we're just going to place it on our cooking sheet. And I'm lining with some. And we'll just keep going. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys.
now that we've got them all made, I'm just going to take some, I can't believe it's not butter spray, and spray it on the top of them. You can use water or milk. I use this because I like it better. You put them in the oven for 25 minutes at 350, and I will put a picture at the end of this portion of the video.